So when you're dividing with decimals, you want to make sure that that second number is a whole number. So the first number always goes under this little division box, and the second number goes on the outside. This is what we call your divisor. This is a decimal, 4.9. If you want to make it 49, you're going to move the decimal once to the right, or technically you are multiplying by 10. And since we're changing this number, you have to change this number as well. All whole numbers have a decimal at the end it's just invisible so we are also going to move the decimal once to the right so we are going to end up having a zero so it's now going to be 20 divided by 49 and we're going to divide from there i added a decimal with a few extra zeros we might need them all we might not we will see i also put some multiplication facts of our divisor because this will come in handy when dividing so from here you're going to bring this decimal straight up into your quotient area and you're just going to start dividing how many groups of 49 can go into two only zero times so we're going to extend it to now 20. how many groups of 49 can go into 20. it's still zero but i will add a zero here and we're going to move on and add another digit so how many groups of 49 can make 200 we're going to use this list we want either equal to 200 or a little less this is the one that comes the closest and that was four groups of 49 so four is going to go here you're going to put the product of 4 and 49 under the 200 we said was 196. you're going to subtract the difference is four you're going to bring down the next digit which is zero and repeat the process how many groups of 49 can go into 40. Well, 40 is much smaller than 49, so we're going to say zero groups. We are going to start incorporating zero. So you can drop the zero. Now repeat the process. How many groups of 49 can go into 400? Let's see. This is going to be the closest. This was eight groups, so we're going to put eight groups right here. The product of eight and 49 is 392. We're going to subtract we get a difference of eight bring down the next digit to repeat the process how many groups of 49 can go into 80. so we're going to go with that's too much so we're going to go with one group so one group one group of 49 is 49. so this is just going to keep going on forever and ever but what's best to do is maybe look at what you have and round i want to round to this place value so you're going to look at the neighbor. If your neighbor is four or under, you're going to keep this the same, and that is the case. So we're going to say this quotient is about 0 0.408 or 408 thousandths. Let me know if you have any other questions.